In this WordPress starter course, you don't need any knowledge of coding, nor will you ever need to. You don't need any experience. And we are going to build out a printer company's website for them, a one pager. And you can turn this into any other kind of shop or even a personal website that you want to create. We have this great hero section at the top, then a promo countdown services below that with the three little areas that we can put something about our site there more about us then a testimonial from a very well-known customer we have a gallery section there just to boast a little bit color and imagery on our site then we bring in our brands below that more about the owner and finally at the bottom we have a contact section where they can reach us and we can also of course collect all that information from people visiting our site we will go more in depth in this WordPress starter course than we did in the WordPress crash course. If you don't know what I talk about, please visit us at w4b.io and that I've recently released this WordPress crash course. This is a great way to start to get an overview of everything we're going to do. And in this starter course, we're going to take things a little bit more in depth. We will look more at how we're going to build out the header. We'll look more at the footer builder as well in the theme. And then we will look at global styling, which is the color themes for your site and the topography, how you can set that up at the beginning so that when you need to make those changes later on, it's just a few clicks and you don't need to go and manually adjust each and every one. Before I forget, my name is JP. Welcome to Websites for Beginners. And if you want to know a little bit more about me, also welcome to go and check at w4b.io. There's a little blurb on there and also ways that you can reach me. And I hope that this tutorial will really bring you from that zero to the semi-hero. And then in the future courses, we will take you to a full-blown superhero. There are timestamps in the description below to jump around between the different chapters. And then let's talk about what you're going to need to practice along for this course and how to make this website in the next chapter.